The story of Western science has its roots in ancient Greece. Like many early civilizations, the Greeks believed the Earth was at the center of the cosmos. It was obvious. Every day the sun rose and set around us. They created a simple, elegant view of how the universe worked. The sun, moon and planets revolved around the earth in circles. For them, a perfect and divine shape. But it didn't work out to be quite that simple. A chance discovery made a century ago gives us a striking insight into the Greek cosmos. In 1900, some Greek sponge divers were forced to take shelter near a small island called Antikythera. When the storm had blown out, they thought, this is water we don't know, uh, let's see what's on the bottom. Might be sponges here. Um, and they sent a man down. But this was no ordinary dive. He came up uh, some minutes later, babbling about naked men and horses on the seabed. What on earth was going on? Was he just ill, or, or was there something really down there? There was something down there. A wrecked ship from 2,000 years ago. And amongst its cargo, there was something astonishing. It's become known as the Antikythera mechanism. A beautifully crafted system of bronze wheels and cogs. Nothing this sophisticated would be made again for over a thousand years. Its exact construction and purpose has been an intriguing puzzle. Michael Wright fell in love with the mechanism at first sight and has spent 20 years trying to decipher it. Working out what's there in the original instrument and then again working out how to complete it, I feel I'd really like to have known the man who made this. It's been a fascinating roller coaster ride trying to work out the route he took. I wish I was half as clever as I think the original man was. Michael's model is his interpretation of how the bronze fragments might have worked. We have eight hands. The long hand shows the, the day of the year on the outer ring. The other ones show the, the place in the sky of the moon, the sun, and the five planets that the ancients knew about. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. This model is a representation of the universe as the Greeks knew it, with the sun, moon, and planets going round the Earth in perfect circles. And it's remarkably sophisticated. Mars, Jupiter, that's Saturn, all out in a lump. But what's intriguing about this model is that it suggests the Greeks had stumbled upon a tricky problem. One that only appears if you believe the Earth is the center of the universe. From time to time, the planets appear to stop against the background of stars. In general, you see them moving a little further east every night. But there come times with each of the planets when they seem to stop amongst the stars and go westward for a moment, for a, a period of days, and then they stop again and go back eastward. And this, this instrument replicates that behavior. 